going to do an impressions video. This will be on Miles Davis's Milestones, original 1958 Columbia 1 LP edition here. It's the first original first pressing. I uh, looked it up on Discogs just to make extra sure. Got this for a really good bargain. I was very pleased to find this. One other seller had it for four or five times the amount that uh, I got this guy for. I mean, you can just tell by the age of this guy. Um, it's an original. And it is in mono. And the I had a choice between uh, another copy of this original pressing, first pressing by Columbia, and a 2012 Mo Fidelity, I think it's 2LP release on like, 45 RPMs. Um, that was a little bit more than this guy, surprisingly. So I snagged him, thinking, oh, I, have, I don't have any original jazz records. And I wanted to listen to what the original recording sounded like. I'm talking about the original, original. Um, maybe in the future I'll purchase the Mo Fidelity um, vinyl remastering in order to compare this to it. And I will be comparing this to the Mo Fidelity Super Audio C, which I have and I have not listened to yet. Just kind of sitting on it for probably two, three years now. Just, just never got around to opening it and playing it. Um, just iconic cover here, though, and the songs on here. So you have Philly Joe Jones on uh, drums, Paul Chambers on bass, Red Garland on piano, John Coltrane, of course, playing the trumpet, and um, Julian Cannonball Adderley. Uh, I think he's playing, uh, uh, I guess, sax, and John Coltrane on tenor sax. So stellar lineup here. Uh, it was very, it's very similar to the uh, other John Coltrane lineups around this same era and or even before as well, and very similar to the kind of blue lineup. And that's another iconic album. If I can find more. Uh, original pressings, first pressings of Miles Davis records for a good price. I will pick them up. Um, I won't name them this this take of the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, some of the, I mean, I listened to every song and really enjoyed it, just all of them. Dr. Jekyll, Sid's Head, Two Hit Bass, or I'm sorry, Two Bass Hit, Milestones, Billy Boy, and Straight No Chaser. Um, two sides here, and I there's the old Columbia 6i label there, very cool. This is in excellent shape for its age. I was very pleased with the uh, with how it sounded. Uh, side 1 was kind of scratchy, but side A was near flawless. I mean, no major pops or ticks or n no skips whatsoever. Um, yeah, just great sounding mono recording. I don't know if this was released in stereo, but as it stands in... Uh, Monero sound sounds great. Um, I noticed the Amazon MP3 does sound slightly better. It's probably been converted. That was probably converted to stereo, and it does have a little more punch than mono. But that's not to trash this original recording because it does sound good on its own, um, on a decent sound setup. And I know I say that every <coughs> every video, but I would highly um, advise that newcomers getting to vinyl do not buy a Crosley turntable unless you're just buying you know really cheap records you don't really care about sound but for me I care about the sound I don't want my records to be ruined by a cheap needle and uh, crummy player and that's what those are the $50 Crosley turntables that are in a uh, faux suitcase now this is deep groove and I do stick all my um, higher end uh, records or records I know I'm gonna keep and play for years to come in these whole fidelity anti-static or for cover quality non-scratching um, plastic bags here they're readily available on uh, elusive disc acoustic sounds and on Amazon and also on eBay and probably other retailers as well I have not checked on like wish.com or anything like that but um, as far as the sound it's a uh, um, um, trumpets up front, the drums are in the background, bass is very um, clear, um, so it's like you're almost like you're there listening to the band play for you in the studio. I mean, it has that real 
realism to the sound, the good good quality uh, clarity. <coughs> so I'd highly recommend picking up this first pressing if you can, if you can find it for a good price. I would not pay hundreds of dollars for this. That's just me because I'm now I'm on a budget. I'm not getting the money that I used to since I, um, we all got basically pay cuts and no bonuses as far as I know. Um, but yeah, just iconic record here. This came out before kind of blue and it's, it is modal jazz. So this is what this, excuse me, was the start to that. Uh, leading up to kind of blue, kind of blue was the icing on the cake when it came, comes to modal jazz. Nothing, I found nothing wrong with that record and nothing wrong with this one as far as the performance and the recording quality and everything and the pressings that have come out over the years. Um, yeah, I have no complaints. I mean, just straight, you know, good jazz, modal jazz, relaxing music, stuff that you could put on after a long, stressful day at work or a grueling day. Uh, one that's been very busy for you, throw this on and uh, or play this on your phone, and you'll all your worries and stresses will more than likely melt away. Um, I mean, the music is as far as the playing is kind of upbeat. Uh, some of it is slow here and there throughout some of the songs. There's some slow passages. Uh, generally, just a great album. I have nothing bad to say about it at all so that is my impressions of the first pressing of Miles Davis's Milestones originally released in 1958 uh, thank you for watching